All right, we're back. In this video, we're gonna go over three things. First, we'll go over the code that we use to actually fine tune a Mistral model on our Discord data. Two, how to push your checkpoints and the LoRa that you use to fine tune up to Oxen so you can iterate on it in the future. And three, we'll go over the results of Oxen's secret agent engineer, Eric, to uh, see what he got in his own Discord data. We won't show anything too uh, private, but it's absolutely hilarious. So make sure you guys stick around to the end to see that. If you guys haven't done so already, definitely check out the previous video we posted, which shows how we cleaned and prepared the Discord data for the fine tuning. And it also reveals who secret agent Eric actually is. So check it out. This is his work that I'm presenting. I wanted to be very clear about that and give him credit where credit's due. And uh, yeah, let's dive in. All right, so before we go into uh, Eric's code, let's give a quick shout out to the actual company that we're using to train and fine tune uh, Eric's code. So we're using a company called Brev.dev. And basically they're marketing themselves as the pro tier Google Colab that you always wanted but never had. And if you look here, oh, let me actually move myself out the way. I currently have the instance running for this example, but all you have to do is click new once you get to your homepage. Click the GPU that you want. We use an A10G because the A10s, well, are cheaper. They didn't have any at the time. So choose your configuration that you want. And then from there, let's just do, let's see, this one, maybe that's not, that's not the one we use. We used, uh, we used this one. And you can choose to use spot, but we didn't. Just choose your name and then deploy. Once your instance is deployed, then you just come here. You go to, you don't have to come here. It's automatically going to pop up this page, but it's going to show that it's, uh, preparing your container. You have to wait a few minutes. Once that's done, then you just click notebook and then you're gonna clone in the repo that you're using. You only need three lines to actually clone a repo from Oxen. First, you just pip install Oxen AI, then you import Oxen, then you clone with the, the user and then the name of the repo that you're cloning. This is a private repo because it has Eric's private Discord data and, and it's his different checkpoints. There also will be a link in the description to the public repo if you wanna check out the code and train it on your own data. It's all down there, uh, check it out. All right, so finally we're into his code. Here, all you have to do is actually install and import the requirements. I already did that, it's gonna take a while. Then you actually run this. We're bringing OS, Torch, a bunch of different um, imports that you will need. Then what we're gonna do is actually cloning your messages off the repo. So the first thing you want to do is import Oxen, then you're going to, from Oxen.user, config user and config auth. And what this is basically doing is configuring your username and your authorization key, which if you don't know where to find your authorization key, once you set up your Oxen account, which the link will be in the description to get your free account, all you have to do is go to your profile in the homepage and you will have your API key right here, which you can easily copy with one click. And you can see it if you want, but you guys are not getting my API key. All right, so here, um, you authenticate, which I've already done, and then you clone the repo with the data into it. I haven't done this step because we already trained it on the data. I'm not going to be training in this video. But what I do have here are the checkpoints, which you guys won't have because it's in this private repo. But next, let's prepare the model for fine tuning. The first thing we want to do is actually set the model that we have, the tokenizer and the device, the CUDA device that we're using. So let's run this. Then we're going to actually quantize the model and uh, configure it. And we're configuring LoRa right here. Next, we're actually loading the model and what we did here is that we do have an option to load the base model if you just want to play around with the base model. But if you want to get the model based on your checkpoints, then you're going to have to add in this line here, which will be commented out in the original in the repo. So I, I put it back in because obviously we're using our checkpoints. But if you guys want to use your checkpoints, make sure to actually comment out this line and bring in this line that actually has the file path to the checkpoints that you're using. But I'm not gonna run this because it takes a few minutes to actually set up and I already have it set up. So let's go on. Next is the pad token. If you're gonna be training Mistral, um, you're gonna need some pad token set up because you don't have any. And then next we're actually gonna be preparing the data. Here, all we're doing is setting the tokenizer, the max length, the file path for the messages. And we're just preparing the data, which we've already prepared in the last video. Again, make sure to check that out if you wanna see how we actually prepared our Discord data for this. But next you wanna actually start fine tuning. Here we just have our number of evox, our, our batch size, and our training arguments, which uh, you guys can obviously change depending on your machine and what GPUs you have access to, uh, your trainer, and then you're training it. From there, we have the different loss, which as you see was getting a little bit better. But now before we get to the fun part with running inference on the train model, I'm gonna show you guys how to actually push to Oxen. That way when you're iterating on training this model, you're able to push up to Oxen and save your changes, save your checkpoints as you go along. So to upload the train Laura to Oxen, you're gonna just import Oxen, set your authorization and user, 
uh, create a remote repo with, or you're going to, you're going to import how to create a remote repo. And all you have to do is initialize option, create a local repo. Next, you're going to add and commit your files. We like to add a readme because it's good practice, but you guys don't have to, if you don't want to add the readme, add the actual notebook, add the model weights with the checkpoint and then add everything together from there. You're going to actually commit it. You'll realize it's just like getting GitHub, except this version controls for your data. So it's going to be as the same, extremely intuitive, just much faster and easier. After you commit, we're then going to create a private remote repo on Oxen and push. If you do not want your repo to be private, which we definitely recommend because it's your private messages, but if you don't want to, all you have to do is delete this argument or set it to true. From there, you're, you're um, creating your repo name based on your user, your repo, and then you're actually pushing it right here. And once you have your auction repo set up and you're pushing your changes, then we can actually run inference on the model. So I'm going to actually just quickly run this again. And all we're doing is basically setting up dependencies and setting up how we're going to generate the text. And let's have a uh, little example. I think that auction AI is a great project and I'm happy to be able to contribute to it. I'm always excited about the potential for auction AI to become a major player in the field of AI. I'm looking forward to it, blah, blah, blah. Let's try something to embarrass him. Uh, let's do... What do I think about being Oxen's secret agent? I think it's a great opportunity to get to know Oxen better to help out the community. I'm happy to be able to do both of these. What do I think about Oxen's community? I think it's a great place to be with many friendly people who are always willing to help out newcomers. I'm very happy to be part of this community. What do I think about Oxen's future? I think it's a very bright future with many exciting things in store, blah, blah, blah. Well, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, if you guys haven't watched the original video, we go over how we actually removed all private uh, information. And basically, we took a fine-tuned model from Hugging Face that actually is trying to remove uh, tokens that seem like private information. And we're going to go deeper into that in our next video. And we have some really, really cool videos coming out for you guys. So uh, thank you guys so much for your time, and I hope to see you in the next one.